I think often about like what's the funniest way to kill yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you get your family together and you say you're going on like a vacation in Myrtle Beach, summertime. Yeah. But you've been depressed for years. Yes. You've been hiding it. Yes, this is a different man than myself. Of Somebody course. that's not <laughs> yeah, like yeah, yeah. just like just steely. Mm-hmm. Not hiding it no totally one, no one has any inclination pretending he's satisfied with his life in like fucking you know morristown doing some kind of finance thing. Mm-hmm. yes but he remembers his old de blasio picture days yeah of course and he thought he would be a novelist and mm-hmm. it didn't happen and now he's or at just, least get like nice pussy in his 40s yeah right? mm-hmm. and then he just like he watches it's one morning where he's watching his jewish wife put her clothes on and she's just disgusting <laughs> mm-hmm. and he thinks <laughs> and she was never that great. she was never that great yeah. it was kind of just got locked he, he felt like, well, I've dated enough people, and uh-huh. kind of, and he's just been on this like kind of conveyor belt towards death. Anyways, sure, sure. she's the same kind of annoying as my mother. So the story's about Adam. Yeah, yeah. You know, and he's remembering. He was like, I was one right. of the funniest people in the world. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In that Before one that, picture, the podcast ended. I was yeah. one of the funniest people. Top three. I at was least. widely regarded as one of the greatest mm-hmm. comedians. Beloved, beloved. Of another beloved cultural. Beloved. Before I get in, so they, you plan a mm-hmm. trip to Myrtle's Beach, and uh, they get down. You said Myrtle's Beach. I was in. Yeah. Uh, that was a homage to your fuck up earlier. <laughs> well, because uh, we made the character you. The homage is. The is, highest floor, form of flattery. No, no it's that's it, not even the thing. Yes, it is. It's, it's you what just, people say. You have to interrupt my story. With, or whatever oh, I pointed point. something out. No, let the no. critics do that. <laughs> okay, okay. That's, We're making art here. You okay. don't understand. There's a cottage industry based off of write up, writing up every single one of these episodes. We got to give them something to talk about, Adam. Mm-hmm. But now you've pointed it out. And now that's Myrtle's, See, Myrtle's, that's the difference Myrtle's Beach, when the character becomes you, and then Myrtle Beach becomes Myrtle's Beach okay. immediately after. Okay, that, continue. Right. Yep. I mean, it, it, shows, it shows my commitment to being involved okay. in the world. In so the I world. got nothing. Right. Even as he seems to not be listening to you. Yeah. I'm listening. To, point, to try and point out an error. that he is. To point out an error when, in fact, I'm showing my admiration for you as a character, <laughs> mm-hmm. not necessarily as a man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take whatever... Whatever, Adam. whatever my form re- of my, admiration. My I'll respect for uh, my respect for you enough the character, as a character Adam. Yeah. to write you accurately. Okay, fine. <laughs> that it immediately becomes Myrtle's Beach, and I <laughs> thought least, maybe you could take that to heart. If you understand the nuance of the character, it to shows understand that that, 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 that the, the the very worst thing that you could say about me is that I am an honest biographer. It's of you. true. Mm-hmm. No, and, I, I would not and, actually and, say that. And but. as a monster. Yep. <laughs> the only thing you want is to have that biographer. Yeah, it's true. So in it's death, true. in mockery, in any of these <sighs> things, I'm still your god. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> so true. All right, all right. So you Myrtle's trip. Beach. You drive yeah. down there, mm-hmm. and the, so the plan is, is you know, maybe you have one day at the beach, and then you all go out to Dick's Last Resort. Of course. And uh, you, the, the, mm-hmm. a 17 year old with a little mustache calls you a faggot. Yeah. So you sit in down, front of my family, in front, sit of, down, family. In front of your family, and mm-hmm. then you pretend to laugh it off and you excuse yourself to go to the bathroom <laughs> and then you go out to the rental car and you pull a gun out of the glove box and just just spray your brain all over the roof of that Ooh. fucking Kia Sorento <laughs> your family's sitting there they're that's, like where's dad that's when's awesome. coming back yeah, yeah please I would love to that's so good for so many reasons yeah. number one <laughs> your family would be like oh my I can't even respect my dead father yeah. Yeah. like it's like you don't have any you're like if, if you find out your dad is depressed and he's had a battle and he kills himself you're like Jesus what could I have done but if your dad killed himself because some fucking piece of shit it's teenager the last straw. called him gay yeah the last yeah. he's a weak you can't even you don't even give them the satisfaction. He's not a real man. He's not. Yeah. You don't even give them the satisfaction of of de- deifying you in death or finding some value. Well, you in you, th- in you death. know your family's mm-hmm. too stupid to do that. So it's like you know that that's enough of a cover story. Is you went to Dick's Last Resort and somebody called you gay, so you blew your brains out. And the other nice thing is the question. The real question is why did he already have the gun? Mm-hmm. Right. And that's uh, oh, that gives you another question. You're right. And I was going to say this though. It also. One final malicious act for Adam. One little cunty, because this is Adam's character. Mm-hmm. One little cunty thing to Her do on his, on his way out. No, in no way, shape, is or to form ruin the life of this stupid waiter kid. Yeah, because mm-hmm. you know that guy's never well, it coming shows, back. It shows his lack of consideration for right. for working people. Yes, the it's work entirely it's superficial. Yeah, in Adam, in the character Adam's mind, <laughs> he's he's, uh, he's <laughs> right. It's mm-hmm. Adam's minds is the name. Mm-hmm. Of I'm not. I'm Adam's not a real minds. working man. I 
work at my father-in-law's accounting. And the, Adam's <laughs> minds is it's not clear. If, so the tight the cover of the movie because every part of it has to be art. The cover of, of the movie there's a piece of blood splatter in between the second D and the S. Mm. So we're never sure if that's supposed to represent an apostrophe or if it's just a graphic design choice. Mm -hmm. yes. Because the cover is of course him oh, with his it's brain like, blown out all over the room. Because Adam's mind would be like a Myrtle's Beach situation. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So is it possessive or is it in indicating okay. that well, there's, in right. some that ways, there's a plurality? Okay. Yes. For, uh, 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 you know, there's multiple minds here. And what's beautiful play. about it is, in some ways, it's it's Schrodinger's apostrophe. Yes. Because it both is that and it is not that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So at the same time, it's both. It's neither and it's both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's also too the 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 imagery of Adam's literal brains being splattered all over right. the front of the movie. Mm -hmm. So Adam's minds could take on a literal sense. Mm -hmm. And then right. we're looking. So now you have this 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 uh, this trifecta of imagery, a, a triptych almost. Yeah, absolutely. Where we we see Adam's mind. A triptych for a small dick. For a small dick, and it's a trip dick because <laughs> yeah. we're going on a trip to Myrtle's Beach, and he's a dickhead, and is a to dick's <laughs> last resort. No, no, no. And he's a dick's last resort. And you're resort. a dick though yeah. in yeah. life, and, and I'm a dickhead in life. Yeah. I mean yes. the character, the character Adam. Adam. So then, even yeah. then, the With word trip, ugly wife. trip dick yeah. itself becomes then enveloped in mm -hmm. in this this grand mystery of life. A trip's so dick, good. perhaps. Which because I've often a said, trip. I've often said there's no greater story than life itself. Dude, I've so often true. said mm -hmm. you've said that a lot. There was numerous times. There was when Honestly, we were Dunkin' Donuts fifteen minutes ago, right, getting muffins, and then there was also the time to the police when mm -hmm. they were they were asking me, you know, right, where why I, your semen was found mm -hmm. in this YMCA. I, I, <laughs> I <laughs> in every locker <laughs> in the YMCA. I was like, I was setting myself up for. I was doing research for a film <laughs> called Adam's Mind. Yes. <laughs> And they were yeah. like, is that plural? Why did it? you break into and the... And I said, that's very interesting that you asked that. I can't answer that question. Right. And mm -hmm. so, you know, refusing to answer it's a question the FBI vague. is a crime. Yeah. yeah. Have you seen the ending of The Sopranos? Yes. It's kind of like that. It's like that. It's, it's like similar. The the <laughs> mm -hmm. um, Don't stop sucking my penis. And then that's the song at the end. Yeah. Suck on to my penis. <laughs> Hold on to my penis. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gay. My dick's small and I can't get all hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. I like Adam's minds. That's I think we got something there. Yeah, I think that's yeah. that's a feature length. <laughs> I think that's a palm door winner yeah. right there. Palm, that's, those palm are the character's last words in the movie. Is yeah. someone insulting him and he goes, Yeah, I think that's a palm door. <laughs> <laughs> and the waiter's yeah, like, yeah. fucking faggot. Yeah, Ooh, look at me. I know about Ooh, a, a I'm Jewish. award. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. And that was, that <laughs> was the last movies, straw. I'm Jewish. That yeah. was the last straw. But we do see Adam kind of rationalizing the suicide because he thinks, he's like, I'm going to make that guy think he's so good at insulting people that the guy killed himself. Because, yeah, I'm trying to help him out. Because Adam, as, as a monster. That's not, how he would take it. He would take it. Mm -hmm. He would think, I'm so good at insulting people. I'm, wow. This is actually a compliment to me. Right. And I don't think about the implications of my actions. Mm -hmm. yes. I don't about, think about, about how the, the human beings behind the stories. Right. Mm -hmm. He's you don't just at his job. Because no one is actually a human being. They're just characters right. in the movie. That, right. Because yeah. Adam, I'm Adam's, writing him in Adam's yeah. mind. Adam got in Adam's mind. In, finally, that Adam's is. He's right. got tired. He got tired of his life as a finance guy mm -hmm. after right. the podcast, and so he's working on a movie about um, the woman that was raped by uh, Jeff Ross. Right. Mm -hmm. And she begs and pleads him in the story to not cast Dwight Yoakam as her father. Right. <laughs> but the, also the, the, the morality... She's like, can we please not have... Dwight yeah. Yoakam is my father. Yeah, there's and a, Adam fires her, and he actually hires the father because yeah, he says right. to really get the into vibes are better. There. The psychology of this character, we need to understand the father's motivations mm -hmm. because what are women other than just victimized extensions of their father's neuroses? That's one hundred percent true. true. Mm -hmm. It's it's something I've often said. You've mm -hmm. often said that life is a trip, and yeah. what are women if not? I don't get what you're saying extensions of their about this character. Yes. I don't get what you're saying, though, about this character, Adam, uh, you were saying after the podcast. I don't get what that... <laughs> <laughs> well, this, this character, character was okay. on a podcast? Mm -hmm. What's kind of central to this character is this character gets really lucky and through almost yeah. no work or talent of his own yeah, true. has kind of a career handed to him. Yeah. Oh, and then there's another character named the biographer right. <laughs> who is uh, Ed, Ed Harrison... Uh, 
<laughs> in the Truman the show. The Truman yeah. show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he's got a beret on, and it's yes. not because he's balding. And he's no. like... <laughs> It's because he's some the only straight man that could pull it's it off. Actually, and a girl gave it to yeah. him from from yeah. having sex. It was a, it's on the very top. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. a little gold star. He's so good at sex, he gets gifts out of pussy. from women. <laughs> mm -hmm. It says number one pussy blower outer at the mm -hmm. very yeah. top of the beret. But then this character is actually represented by two characters. One of them is a morbidly obese. Uh, no, there is not. <laughs> that character actually doesn't exist. There's, <laughs> so he's, there's he's, a third character called the very cool guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's played by Jason Statham, but he's packed on twenty pounds of muscle. Muscle. Yeah, Jason mm -hmm. Statham. 20 pounds. <laughs> 20, pounds. 20 pounds of muscle. Yeah, Jason Statham actually, in an interview, explained, like, oh, God, I had the guy in white boy eating bananas. I was every day, I'd eat 200 bananas. <laughs> and the, get, the pussy mm -hmm. getting cool guy is kind of like what both of the two characters are jealous of. Um, because he just lives his life so beautifully and simply. Yeah, a lot of people will say that the Ed Harris character is underwritten, but mm -hmm. the truth is he has autism and feels nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he doesn't have to have any clear motivations. Right. He just wants to be in the movie. Totally. Yeah. And the biographer and the cool guy bond in how oh, gay they Oh, I thought the biographer was the cool no, guy. No, no, no. Yeah. That's a different, car That's That's a different a di character. Oh, the cool guy is the Jason Statham? It's Jason Statham with 20 pounds of Who's muscle. Who's put on weight for the Put on 20 pounds role. of muscle for the role, oh, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. I didn't even think he can get more muscles. Well, he can. Wow. And then, so <clears throat> so they are, like, in a control booth watching Adam's Minds. Yeah, Adam's mm -hmm. Minds. And they're, like, camera three. Yeah, they're directing Camera four. It. Yeah. It's kind of a Let's meta. Do a slow you know how zoom. I said I didn't like the Charlie Kaufman thing about violets or whatever the fuck that gay ass movie was about? Yeah. <laughs> and he's got like. Adaptation. Adaptation. The violence of the mind. Yeah. The violence of the mind. <laughs> uh, this is actually a good version of that, where the two guys are characters, the mm -hmm. cool guy and the biographer, but they're also directing the movie. Okay, Adam's they're mind. in a control booth. No, they're the and, co and that's funny because Adam's mind's character thinks that he's the director of his own story, exactly. but in reality, you have two other people directing it. Right. Mm -hmm. right, wow. right. So he actually has absolutely no control over the zero narrative. control, yeah. but the illusion of control. The whole time too, he thinks his wife is the one that's Jewish, but actually it's him. Yeah. Oh God. And that's the a wife, big turn. That's a huge twist. Yeah. <laughs> that's one of the big. That's <laughs> the end. That's the twist of the end. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's and she's actually so he's looking at time. his life, and he's, he's yeah, he's looking. At and this actually, turns out Jewish woman. She's been hot the whole time. But when he's she, just gay. Right. She walks past a mirror. She's <laughs> yeah. He's blonde, just afraid of eyes. pussy. Yeah, he's yeah. afraid of pussy. She's actually right. a, uh, uh, she's played by Dolph Lundgren in any of the <laughs> reflected shots where we're not, we're not observing her through the eyes of Adam. <laughs> right. Oh, okay. right. Right. It's, right. He's like, right. oh, I just have this hideous Jewish wife. But in reality, he's being violently topped by Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. Who <laughs> is. Um, who's, yes. Yeah. Who's best friends with Dwight Yoakam. And that's yeah. how Dwight Yoakam got the role in the movie oh, okay right? and it represents how adam has betrayed the actual star of the movie which is jeff ross's victim <laughs> <laughs> right i forgot to, to I favor forgot she was involved yeah because adam's minds is trying to make the movie about jeff ross as well. oh tr yes yeah. yeah of course wow you forgot I mean, that it's part detail. of a larger movie called adaptation adaptation <laughs> 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 That's true. They should yeah. release the movie in a movie for movies. You know what I mean? For sure. They should have released Chubby Rain with Bowfinger as its own separate movie. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is interesting. <laughs> She's also d too. expressed like her dislike of reality television, stating in 2007 interview, I think some of it, it seems strange. Why do we all want to watch people be so miserable? Other people's pain and misery. It seems kind of sad. So... She would never get along with Adam's Adams, Adam's minds, his no. character and the Adam's character mind. in the movie because he only understands pain and suffering. No, that's not true. He yeah. he worked in in finance, mm -hmm. at, and which he he considers a punishment, even though his entire uh, oeuvre de sens. Sons de rouvre is to <laughs> is is mm -hmm. to the. <laughs> <laughs> his entire penis de resistance. Yeah, his de <laughs> repoussance. His uh, chart de anus is to, <laughs> his chart chart d'anus. Penis du smell <laughs> is to <laughs> penis du smell. His entire penis du yeah. smell. Geez, where where'd you win that award at the penis du smell? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then he fucks that up in the restaurant, and the waiter's like, "Don't you mean palm door, you fucking moron?" Yeah, the and palm. then they they put a hat on him that says, "I don't know what the palm door is." <laughs> the palm, and the then everyone. Sword. In the last re 
restaurant is laughing at yep. him for being an uncultured swine. Yeah, the that people only, at Dick's know all about that the, type the, of stuff. The pedals in cheap reality television, and Heather Graham walks in. She says, you disgust me. You disgust me. Can mm. I just say, what, one thing that I've kind of been researching mm. while you're talking about all that stuff yeah. is Heather Heather Graham nude on Google Images. They put Adam in the hat, and then me and me or the the, the biographer, biographer and the, the cool, cool guy, guy are in the control room. <laughs> they go and send it. Has send Heather in now. <laughs> no, don't do that. That's cruel. She's like, wow, you don't know what the Palm Door is, and also and the hat. Just the hat is the entire script of the movie up until that point Whoa. is written on the hat. And she's like, what's this part here where you revel in people's pain and suffering, and you mm. after the podcast ended. You worked in 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 finance, mm-hmm. doing b- bad business. Yeah. Doing well, you just yeah evicting you, retarded black children. No, yeah. they gave from the they center gave for a... being black and retarded. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we just we trying to get Reese's peanut butter cups for these children, <laughs> and we can't we save the money for the rent. Please, Mister Adam Adam Friedlandovich. <laughs> Adam, Adam Friedlander. Yeah, Adam Friedlander. <laughs> We just need you to please. I don't know why it please, has to be so close Mister. to my name. It, well, it's just we didn't. It's even, just I didn't even realize that. It's just yeah, we didn't. And actually, it's kind of an amalgam of people. It's you and Judah Friedlander. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. All right. The world he's wearing, champ. He's yeah. wearing a cap. Yeah. Why do they need to be a victim? Because they're not people. Next question. <laughs> they're black and retarded. <laughs> I don't consider them people. Next question. <laughs> That's great. That's a great judo oh, right there. God. Yeah. Shout I love. Shout out to Moco Zone. Do I know what the the palm door is? Fuck no. I'm retarded. <laughs> Next question. I'm also retarded. Yeah. yeah. Actually, you know what? Judo doesn't work. He's too cool. So it's actually just you. Yeah. I just remembered. Oh, I just followed her on Instagram. I hope she follows back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think so. No, it looks like she already follows me. It looks like she blocked no, she you. Doesn't, actually. She I just doesn't follow you. I Suck my penis. <clears throat> Who does she follow? Um, Not, none of us. I'm going to go ahead and say, damn, she's hot. She's I'm looking so at hot. pictures from Boogie Nights again. Oh, my God. And my dick is not, I'm not going to say it's hard, but it has blood in it. I love her. I just want her to know who I am. Yeah, I don't think so, Chief. Yeah, Chief. Well, then why, when I was crossing the street next to Nick, did she look at my penis area and then do the tongue in the cheek blowjob? Because uh, I asked her to do that. No, she and then the, the final uh, scene in this the movie thing. is the biographer. He tells the cool guy, he's like, you know, this all started because we never actually passed Heather Graham on the street. Whoa. Yeah. It was just a woman, and I had said to him, that was Heather Graham. No, that was Heather Graham. No, I said to you yeah, that was Heather no. Graham. And in his mind, he turned it into this fantasy, and I thought, what... A brilliant subject mm-hmm. to biography. So you lied yeah. to me. And then the cool guy to looks biography. at the biographer and he goes, Why don't we go to that bookstore only me and you went to? Yeah, why don't no, we go to that bookstore? No. <laughs> and then scene. And then King's Dominion. <laughs> and then it ends with them uh, getting fucked coaster. up at King's Dominion, <laughs> hanging out with lav mics doing a separate podcast. <laughs> and the movie's called The Good Podcast. <laughs> Yeah, Adam's Minds is a movie within the movie. Wait, of the so good he was in a podcast with the cool guy and the director? And the biographer. Mm-hmm. The biographer and the cool guy are co-directors. What don't you understand, Adam? I don't what get, don't but the understand. Adam's Minds used to be in a podcast with them? Yes. Before dude. he was in finance? Yes. 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 This movie's confusing. <laughs> yeah, it'll be well done, though. All right. Maybe it'll get a palm door. Oh, it'll get a palm door. It'll get a palm door and it'll get my palm and some whores. You know what I'm saying? A palm to my whores. My whole hand in a pussy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Put all four mitts in there. A fist, a fist of fist of whore. So stop. You're get. You're gonna come back with a tooth? No, I'm going. I'm right after we hit. Uh, whatever we get this one in the can, folks. I'm driving to Baltimore, and I'm gonna go chill with my brother for a night, and then in the morning I go to take the indentation of. The implant, they send that to a lab. It'll take them a couple of weeks to make it. Mm-hmm. And then I fucking go in. They put, they screw my tooth in after that. So I'm going in, and the next time I go to the dentist. This is the second to last. Second to last, baby. After you got your, gra- you your dr- bone graft. Did you drop me off in New show? Mexico on the way? Yeah, it's Thanks. on the way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, right, it's right on there. You want to go to Taos? Well, in our surreal movie version of our life, in Adam's yeah, Minds, the cool guy drops off as a biographer in the desert. Mm-hmm. And he says, what are you going to do out here? And he says, uh, 
uh, hang out, Def- with, hang out with Tim Dillon or something. Definitely not gay shit. That's yeah. for sure. And then he just he takes off. He don, dons his beret. His cat, yeah. his beret. That's right. <laughs> the beret for being good at fucking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tips his beret. Yeah, and, and then the cool guy says, all right, bruv. Yeah. All right then, brother. <laughs> Time to go to King's Dominion and eat bananas. <laughs> Time to go have a whole bunch of bananas at King's Dominion. <laughs> yes. I got to go. I, I got to go home to Baltimore to have bananas <laughs> with my brothers. Can I ask you guys a question? No. <laughs> go ahead, Adam. Is there a reason why the characters got the same name as me? Uh, just kind of that that verbal. I guess I didn't even really think about <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> that is weird. I, for me, I think the reason is just kind of that light, nice little rhetorical uh, quirk of yours from Groundhog's days. Oh, yeah. oh the so quirk. Adam's minds kind of. Oh, the quirk. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Mm-hmm. You're just me being quirky. It's you being yeah. quirky. That's Adam's mind. Adam's mind presumes the existence of a movie called Groundhog's Day. <laughs> yes, uh, day Groundhog's Days, and mm-hmm. also Grounds- mm-hmm. Groundhog's Night Day. Uh, so all, every iteration Groundhog also exists day. within the confines of Adam's mind. And in in the other version of Groundhog Day, Bill Murray is in a singular character. He mm-hmm. represents. There's every single restart of the day is a different Bill Murray. Yes. So it's actually impossible for the final Bill Murray to learn any kind of lesson. Because, yeah, That's he's not really, the same guy. He's not the same guy. The day only happened once. And in that version, it is a omniscient version of Bill Murray that because of that omniscience, which is a gift from God, right. he is a better person. Yep. And, that's, and, and, and it shows us. Only God can improve you. Only God can improve you, but you're preordained to have that improvement already because God could already mm-hmm. see the other possibilities, and he chose the Bill Murray that already would have had faith if he didn't have the omniscience. Mm-hmm. So that one, yes, that's the one that gets the gift of omniscience because right. he, God knows that even if he didn't have it, he would have. He still would have acted. He still would have acted both ethically and morally correct, mm-hmm. and also would have lived mm-hmm. with faith. Yep. And if I remember correctly, at the end of Groundhog Day, it, it ends with him walking into the seminary. That's right. And <laughs> He's like, I've had enough pussy. I've, I've earned enough gotten French. I've enough pussy. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure this bitch is a lesbian. <laughs> Andy? Oh, yeah. God. He's probably in Groundhog Day for like, what, a, a million years? Yeah. That's wild. I dude. used to really like her, too, when I was a little kid. No, you didn't. No, you Andy didn't. McDowell? No, I don't believe that. No, you liked, had a crush on Alan Dershowitz. I like. her. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to go on the record and say that you've never had a crush on me and you've never wanted I'll to see s- my penis and suck on my I'll penis. I'll say that. <laughs> And if you can't if you can't materialize evidence that says that my penis has been sucked on by you or not, I've never had sex. <laughs> I've never had sex, and I've had sex a million times. Yeah, I've had sex with mm-hmm. beautiful women. I've had sex times. more than everybody in the entire world, and none of it was ever illegal. And it never happened either. It never happened. You can't but prove you it. Treat me like a guy that's fucked. You lot. have. To, I need to be treated as if I've had sex with everyone, <laughs> and I've never had sex. That would be the perfect way to be treated. Yeah. <laughs>